Hi, everybody. I'm meteorologist Joe Chaffee, and my original plan was to go to bed and do this in the morning, but I saw this, so I figured I might as well let you have it early. First off, let's take you through early part of this week, and you can see this southern system is just offshore, and it kind of touches Long Island with rain on this run, so we get that out of the way. Then another little disturbance comes through here along about Wednesday night, doesn't really do very much. And then as we move along, now we get another ridge that builds for next weekend. And then after that, it gets interesting. Now, this is going to mean a lot of things have to go right for this run to be even close to correct. But for one thing, we have a system that comes in from the Pacific. I'm going to go back it up again. You can see it here. Just follow it right along, and I'm going to just probably I'll put it on motion on automatically. There it is. Okay, so now this lifts up, and it goes up toward Hudson's Bay. We have one little low that, low that goes by, then another trough goes by, and then another trough goes by, and as each one goes by, it gets a little colder, a little colder, a little colder. So this is a, a fairly dynamic run when you look at it uh, in total, because what it's doing is the Pacific. Look at these systems. One after another after another come crashing into the Pacific and moving across. And as each one goes by, it changes the flow in Canada significantly to the point where now instead of you have your subtropical jet, and now you have a jet that's actually coming down from northern Canada and into the Great Lakes and into the Northeast. The question is, is this right? Now, I'm going to shift over to um, what it looks like at the surface. And we'll do a U.S. view because I think that'll probably show it even better. Okay. And let's roll it back. And we're going to start it again. All right. There's that first low that kind of just misses the coast. Okay, and then we got this little trough that goes through on Thursday. Not much with that. Then another little trough comes through, little front on Saturday. Not much with that. Now here's that low that that comes in from the Pacific. You can follow that along, and then that moves up right here into Hudson's Bay. We have another system that's crashed into the northwest. Then the, that as we move it east, you can see. Around the 14th, it brings a, a, a front with a low developing on it that moves on out. And then here comes another one. And as again, as each one goes by, it gets a little bit colder. And then we have the last one in the series that goes on out as a pretty deep storm. Now, of course, the reliability of this is ridiculous. Uh, we keep swinging from run to run. The ridge is there. It's not there. Uh, the trough is there, it's not there. So we have to take this with a huge grain of salt. The model in general, I think the takeaway is that it keeps wanting to try to change the pattern to some degree. And I think we just have to keep on going on this adventure as we have been doing for many days now and see where it takes us. But it wants to indicate that there is something going on. So we will follow this along tomorrow and See what that adventure takes us on. And in the meantime, do enjoy your weekend because the weather is so beautiful.